Hello everyone, this is Mr. Barnaby here. This is going to be a very, very short video showing how you can log into eBackpack. The first step that you'll need to do if you haven't done so already is download the eBackpack app, which you'll see in the bottom right hand corner of my screen. So I'll open that up now. And then on this screen, you have to enter your credentials. Now everyone gets confused by the account.ebackpack.com thing. That's very simple. All you need to type in there is CASD, and that's it. The username is simply your district username that you use to log into district computers. So I'm going to type mine in. Yours looks a little different than mine because you'll have the last two digits of your grad year in front of yours, plus the first five letters of your last name, first three of your first. Notice I'm not using my whole email address, just the first part of my email address. And the password for most of you should be your lunch number. However, I'm sure a lot of you or many of you might have changed it to something different. So if you changed it, it's whatever you changed it to. Basically, you're using the same credentials that you use to log into district computers, plus that CASD for the account name. Now, once you log in, which I'm not going to do because you'll see my password, but once you log in, eBackpack will keep you logged in. However, on occasion, you might get logged out. Uh, so for instance, if you update your iPad, usually it will log you out of eBackpack. Or if eBackpack has some sort of problem or outage, a lot of times you'll have to go back in and, and log in. But most of the time, you should all, always remain logged into eBackpack. But on occasion, you'll have to log back in. If you need any help or have any questions, please let me know.